been done in schools primarily because there are very restrictive um, <laughs> restrictions um, that uh, they vividly describe sexual relationship in sports. And but also they promote birth control. Um, they even suggest abortion as an option to in an unplanned pregnancy. And they do suggest that one of the parents is more vocal. <laughs> but I first read it in 1987, and I vividly remember when like all the girls passing it around, so like corners were folded, passages were underlined, and we were reading this at the Catholic school. So we, <laughs> so we, um, you know, we didn't know really about like bands or like family books, but we knew that at our school, you know, we were reading about premarital sex, we knew we anybody was going to smell them. Who did you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. Just anybody. He put the bottle on top of the toilet and unbuckled his jeans. What are you doing? I'm going to try it now. So I'm ready just in case. He stepped out of his jeans, then took off his underpants. On second thought, he said, why don't you do it for me? Me? It was your idea in the first place. I felt funny about seeing Michael exposed from the waist you make love. I touch them a lot, but I never look carefully. He sensed my feelings because he said, you want to know me inside out, don't you? So I looked. His hair down there is almost the same color as on his head, but curlier. Mine is very dark, much darker than on my head. Hello, Ralph, I said, kneeling in front of Michael. Ralph was small and soft and just hung there. I shook some mustache into the palm of my hand but when I reached out toward Michael, he caught my hand and said, don't, it stings. How do you know? I just do. But he said, he didn't let me finish. Instead, he kneeled with me and as we kissed, Ralph grew bigger and hard. I undressed myself while Michael watched. Ralph stepped straight out as if he was watching too. We made love on the bathroom rug 